Another effect I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is called the trailing arc. Now, by now you're familiar with my torch. And of course, coming out of the torch, you have the, the plasma arc. And below, we have our material. Now, because at the face of the cut, the plasma arc is removing material, it has some mechanical resistance. It's actually eroding the material. So it takes a little bit of effort. As the torch is moving in such a direction, the, the arc will actually begin to trail slightly behind the torch. This is sometimes obvious when you look at the cut edge. Sometimes you can see little tiny lines which generally go backwards behind the torch when it was travelling. It's usually not a, an issue, but it's a way to determine whether the arc was in fact trailing. Now this is fine when you're cutting in a straight line. Because the arc is trailing behind the torch, the uh, arc will always be directly behind and the edge of the cut will be quite perpendicular. But something happens when you come to a corner. Now I'll just draw the corner of our part, a little bit of a diagonal view here. So this is the corner that we'd like to achieve, nice sharp corner. Now remember we're travelling clockwise around the part because it's an external shape. So the arc is travelling along this face and it'll generally be trailing ever so slightly behind the torch. Now as the machine comes up to the corner here, the arc is still trailing at this angle. Now, can you imagine what happens if the machine straight away changes direction? What is now an innocuous trail, it just simply leaves those little lines, becomes a problem because what happens, the arc is still at that angle when the machine travels in this new direction and you'll end up with this cut on your part which leaves this type of effect. It's actually removed underneath the corner of your part and you're left with this curve to underneath your part. Quite often the top face is perfect but underneath you've got this effect. Now how can we overcome this problem? Well believe it or not we've already discussed it and we've already solved the problem. You simply choose the sharp corners option in your toolpath. Now this gives the torch time to go past the edge of your, your part gives the flame or the arc time to catch up to the torch because the machine is pausing ever so slightly away from the corner of your part as we discussed earlier. So when the arc catches up it goes vertical, the machine then changes direction and travels off and you then achieve this sharp corner once again. So remember having sharp corners on is a very good option. If your software supports it definitely use that function.